All right, so I just filmed that entire thing and my mic wasn't on, so we're gonna do this again. <laughs> Welcome to the new channel. I know most of you are probably coming from Instagram. So I usually mainly do a lot of photography over there. I've done some product videos and stuff like that. This is kind of all new to me doing the video side um, and actually kind of showing what I do for that kind of stuff. But I'm also gonna get into more of the photography side of doing those kind of things. Um, so kind of showing like the behind the scenes, what I used to shoot, um, what I shoot and stuff like that. That's actually what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be filming uh, kind of BTS kind of how-to kind of thing. I know it's been hard kind of getting out there and shooting, especially because COVID and all the guidelines and stuff like that. So we're gonna be doing some home shoots. So I'm just gonna find some stuff around the house, see what we can make of it. So let's just get right into it. All right, so these are the props that we're gonna be using for the shoot. I have some natural lighting here from the window, so I'm just on the carpet. Um, I'm gonna be using this cutting board for pretty much everything to frame it, since I like the wood of it. We're just gonna kinda set up some here, just kinda see what we like. All right, so I set it up here to really kind of complement the cards, but also get that nice wood feel. Um, but I still kind of want to feel like it was taken in the kitchen. So I kind of have the knife here, this a little spoon, uh, but this glass makes a really cool reflection on the cards. So I'm hoping to really capture that when we actually take the photo. I also have this little aperture light hitting it from the side, um, and it's kind of making the gold in the cards kind of glint off. So we're gonna see what we can kind of get with this. All right, so we took a few shots with this. Uh, I liked how they turned out, but I also want to kind of get some of the back of the cards and, and some of it standing up because the whole box is just super cool design. So we're going to kind of set that up here. I really did like the glass coming off of the cards. Um, so I think we're going to continue with that and then maybe kind of get another cool reflection with it. All right, so we set it up standing up. Um, so I kind of got that cool kind of glare coming off of it again. Um, then I wanted more of a background. So I got that, that nice foreground, middle ground, and the background, uh, but it's all clearly separated. So I have that nice wood kind of coming in and you can clearly see the cards and it's nicely highlighted by the natural light. So we're gonna get a few shots and see what they look like. Another really important thing uh, when you're shooting these is kind of getting that right composition. And so, as I was saying before, you want to have that nice foreground, um, and then make sure your subject is really separated from the background. You don't really want them to blend together because then it, it doesn't really have that kind of clear subject and there's not a whole lot of depth in it. So you really want to make sure um, you're, you're kind of getting those when you're shooting a product like this. Right, so I think I got the shots I needed, I wanted from this. Um, so we're gonna just go over and hop in Lightroom and see what we actually got. We're in Lightroom right now and we have the ones that we liked. So I already went ahead and picked the ones that I liked. There's about nine of them. Um, and so you can kind of see in this first one, it, ha it has a lot of depth to it. Um, and kind of all these have the, the same kind of feel to it, all the wood, the nice gold. I really like this one because the reflection shot in it. And I really like this one too, because it's, it's just a side shot, but you can also see 
I need to clean my sensor here. Uh, always make sure before you do a photo shoot to clean your sensor uh, and your lens, because if there's any dust, it's gonna be really annoying to edit out. I probably should not before I film this, but we're gonna look at it after and see if there's anything there. All right, so first I am gonna use, uh, so I have quite a few presets here. I'm gonna be using the Sleek and Clean. Uh, this is the one that I've made. It's not out yet, but it will soon be, hopefully in the coming month, month, months, month. So we're gonna click that here. And if you're shooting for Instagram like I normally do, you want to shoot vertical. Um, and then also when you're in Lightroom, you want to just come over here and then crop it in 4x5. So this is going to give you the most real estate uh, for whatever you're shooting in. I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I am going to try and match these lines up, this grid up with the cards. Because that's what we want to be um, angled correctly. Alright, so I am going to desaturate it a tiny bit because the wood seems super... Actually, no, we're going to go all the way up because I like how the cards look. I don't like how the wood looks. It looks too yellow. So we're going to come down here to HSL color. Um, you can kind of see all what all these are. Um, this little thing right here, if you click this, it'll tell you what the color is. It's, it's really handy. Um, and so you can kind of see what all these are. So this is a lot of orange and that's what we're going to be dragging down. So we're just going to bring it down just a tiny bit. I'm actually going to change maybe the hue of it to about like right there. And then bring that orange down just a tiny bit. There we go. Okay. All right. So now we're going to focus on the actual subject, which is the card. So we're going to take this right here. And this is called an adjustment brush. And if you want to see what you're doing, you can press O. Um, so you, you don't have to be perfect with this. Uh, I mean, just try and get it as close as possible as you can. I mean, you can go in and out with your mouse button, middle mouse button. All right, so we press O again um, to get rid of it, see what you're actually doing. Um, so I am going to turn up the saturation just a little bit because I want to see that gold really pop and then just sharpen it. Um, the only things I don't like is these two lines right here and then this line right here. So I'm going to get rid of that. So to do this, if you're in Lightroom, you can right click the photo you're in, hit edit in, and then you can go into Photoshop. And, and so you want, you do want to click edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments, um, cause you want to be able to see what you've actually done so far. So we're just going to let that load. Usually takes a little bit. I'm getting a new PC soon. So it's going to be a lot faster. All right. So we're in Lightroom now. Um, we're just going to do some really basic stuff. So hit Z to be able to zoom in here. Uh, okay. And don't don't worry that it's really blurry. It won't be like that in the final image. And so I'm just gonna hit J. And for this, I'm gonna be using the spot healing brush tool. Um, and that's just to get some of the simple stuff out of the way. There we go. And then also this big line right here. So as you can see, you can you can see it when you're zoomed in like this, but when it's out, you're not gonna really be able to see it. So we're going to go ahead and save that. You just click file and save. And once it's done, you're going to go back into Lightroom and then it's going to already have the changes there for you. So I'm going to get rid of, actually I'm not going to do that yet. Cause if you want to have the same look for all of your photos, you can come to this one right here and then hit left shift and click and then hit sync. So usually I just do basic stuff. You don't want to do any of the transform or any of that. Um, Cause then it'll make it that same for each one. Um, and then some of them will be off. So you don't want to do that. You may be able to hear my roommates that are talking in there. I'm, I'm gonna get some sound panels and stuff. And so we can really kind of, it is a little bit of echoey in here. So we're gonna fix that later. And get a better backdrop than this uh, white nastiness. I do like this photo, but this is another angle. I think I'm gonna use this one. I already really like how this one looks. Maybe just decrease it, uh, the saturation just a little bit. Actually, let's angle that back. I want it as big as I can. All right, so we're gonna just decrease that saturation um, of the board, uh, but then bring it back in the cards. So we're just gonna hit O again, you can kind of see what you're doing. Bring it back in that gold. These are 311 playing cards, by the way. Um, I'll link them down below. They're an amazing quality. Um, I use them for literally everything. I have a lot of their playing cards. All right, hit O again to get rid of it. And we're just gonna increase that saturation, make those golds pop. All right, there we go. 
Then we see that's our before and this is our after. And you're just hitting slash to change the before and after of this. And I think that looks pretty good. I may decrease the highlights just a tiny bit. And I think that looks really good. All right, so we're gonna hit five on that. Um, and I think this was my favorite shot just because the, the blade, you got the leading lines going into it. You got this cool reflection coming off and I think it looks really neat. Um, so we're gonna again, just go in four by five it. And make sure those lines line up, the grid lines up with the car here. I really like that reflection. So I'm going to decrease the exposure just a little bit in those shadows. Um, I don't like, I can kind of see this background over here. So I am going to just darken it. And then we are going to go ahead and use that adjustment brush on the cards here. I should probably look what I'm doing. Uh, it's close enough. It's close. It's close. I am actually going to hit this reflection with it too, because I think it looks really cool. And we're just going to increase that saturation and a little bit of clarity, I think. And then actually, let's take down the texture just a tad, and then increase that contrast. Ooh. All right, so we're also, another thing you can do um, is you click right over here, and this is going to be your graduated filter. And you can just drag that wherever the light source is coming from. You don't want it to be unnatural, um, so you can just pull that exposure up and then use this as kind of a um, kind of just hitting the the light hitting your subject differently um, with a little bit more umph to it so i'm going to bring down just a tad um, but as, as you can see it, it really did kind of bring those cards out a little bit more um, and then kind of draw your eye more to it so i don't like this little, i can see the spec here remember it's, it's the little details that always matter um, so we're just going to quickly get rid of that. There you go. I think that looks really good. The, the cards are clearly the focus of this picture, but you have leading lines going to it. You have the light source hitting it right. And then you have that kind of black background not to distract it from it. All right, so we're going to move on here. Let's do one more. I think we're going to do this one because we do want a side profile shot. As you, you can actually really see the dots in this one. So I'm just going to get rid of them real quick. It's easy to do this in photo pretty hard to do it in video so you want to make sure you clean your sensor every time and I see some more down here actually so we're gonna decrease the exposure on this and those shadows not that much though and then those highlights I don't want I want to be able to see some detail all right so again crop it four by five right here and then it is turned a little bit so I'm actually gonna go down here to transform and then mess with the horizontal and turn it just a little bit more so it's facing me. Maybe ro rotate it so it lines up here. And actually this, this line right here, this was my little aperture light I was using to hit all of this. So again, we're just gonna make these golds pop right here on the cards. So we're gonna highlight all that again with the adjustment brush, increase that saturation, make those golds look crazy. And with this, I'm gonna really increase the clarity and texture just cause the, this, this entire side of the card is just the design um, and it's like slightly off of it too so you can like you can tell if you rubbed your hand over that it's gonna be like super cool feeling so you can kind of see the before and after of this we kind of shifted it a little bit and then also just made those cards pop a lot more if you want to you can add that graduated filter and bring it in across the photo uh, but you don't want to do that for every single photo because then people kind of be like i mean he does that every single time and then it gets kind of boring so you want to you always want to keep them guessing we have three right now we're gonna go over here and rate them five so these were i think my favorite photos we got this one we got a we got a front profile bit of a side but still front and then an actual side profile of the cards if this was for a client you'd want to get every single angle for them that they actually wanted to show the whole product as a whole but this is just for fun so these three are fine so for exporting you're going to select all of them and right click and then hit export and we're going to go all the way up top here to export then you can pick what folder you want to go to i have a folder just for edited photos and we're going to go all the way down here all right so for file settings your image format you want that to be in jpeg and then your color space rsgb quality people say 70 is good for instagram i have not seen a difference so i usually keep my quality at 100 because why not have better quality and for image sizing um, I do width and height. My width is 1080, height 1350, and these are in pixels, not in inches or centimeters. Um, and then my resolution is 72. And this is pixels per inch, not centimeter. And then for the sharpening, I always sharpen for screen and then high. And that just brings out some more data. Um, and that really makes your image kind of pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and export those already done. So you can kind of see how um, easy it is to just grab some props around the house, get a subject and just go shoot. This is really good for practicing, like for building your portfolio also. I just cracked my finger when I did that, kind of hurt. <laughs> 
Um, what was I telling you about? By practicing and building that portfolio, when clients ask you for work that you've done for products and stuff like that, you can show them all these things that you've done and they're from your house so you don't have to leave or go anywhere. Which is great when they actually want you to do stuff for them and they just send you a product and you already have all the props and stuff around. You can just lay them out in any kind of way that you want and then shoot it and you don't have to leave your house. A really good way for you to kind of try this at home, um, get better at it, build a portfolio, and then also, I mean, just practicing every day, you're gonna get better at it. It's just, it's just with everything. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something today. If you did, please let me know down in the comments. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button. I will see you in the next one.